So check this out. Whatever you always put on your mind is always getting ready to play physically. This is how we even manifest body languages. This is how you even manifest certain tones of voice. This is literally how you create a physical theater, a version, a condensed version played out with your physical body, third dimensional vessel, with your mental minds, with your light density bodies. Because we create light, light density bodies, we create certain alchemies, we mix these thoughts and feelings together. That's why you even have a certain a mason behind closed doors making an allegory about a, a, a witch girl stirring a pot. Because the mind is something that we stir with us being observers. We take these thoughts and feelings, we mix them up, and we create uh, concoctions, whether they play out, whether, whether we create a feeling internally and we don't let it play out externally. You know, something in the yin realm, speculative, subjective realm. I want to play that out objectively. We don't might not know. We might not know how to take that energy and transact it and create that version of it based on what we're already pre-programmed by our environment, aka uh, environment, family circumstance, as far as who you develop personal relationships with, and you know what you deal with in your houses in your different area of life. Um, and so, when we're not able to kind of look back and clean those things up, we're not able. We're not, we forget about you know, our responsibilities. We forget about uh, things that keep us closer to God because we get lost often in the things of the world, the things of the environment, uh, you know, the things that are presented in front of us by, you know, just uh, the, the world around us because, you know, the world is a, is a stage and, you know, it's up to you to stage every whatever whatever's on your mind to play out externally because we literally actually create holographs. Like, think about it, your thoughts and feelings. It's literally like a hologram. Like, you receive images, you receive feelings, you receive these things, and you can literally transact them outside of you. Like, and the thing is, a lot of people are not able to develop their own perspective and actually be really observe the realm in the moment based on them being lost in a lot and things like work. Oh shit, I gotta I gotta wake up at nine o'clock tomorrow. That's on your mind. That plays out as you know something as well. That actually probably that actually probably make you more stressed out leading to you becoming more sicker and things like that. So a lot of the things on the world we plan on in our mind be, uh, you know, fucking up our experiences and we don't, we're not able to experience what we came here to experience. We get lost in things of the world and forget about ourselves and bury ourselves. You know, you might develop half children, not that, that that's right or wrong, but you know, either way, you, you're gonna decide for yourself if you wanna get to where you wanna get to and you know you just got to keep on keeping on i know people that had kids personally and you know they're, they're uh, i don't know I, i'm I, i'm not gonna say they're doing fine they're not doing fine you know it's up to them so we have to see about that but you know hey it's just it's it's a planning life it's being it's being able to un understand that you know you don't just get into situations you, you're signing contracts and you're you know you're gonna have to uphold certain things virtues and principles based on whatever you hold on to on your mind so you want to be able to, you know, change these things and edit these things ASAP and not fall into the pattern of habitually, routinely doing these thoughts and feelings because that's more and more, it's going to be harder to break and that programming is, is going to be, is going to seem just normal. It's going to be normalized in your mind. Think about, there's a lot of things in the world that are going to become normalized and are already normalized and is already normalized. But that's just by what predictive programming showing you an image a sound uh you know transacting its energy to you in some kind of medium whether it's the news entertainment industry a song you know uh, politicians whatever you know it's like training you to have a particular type of mind and them understanding the witchcraft deeper they're understanding they, they basically have already multiple ways to access you and you know it's like you know attacking basically from multiple angles and things like that because they understand how to create narratives and things like that and based on people being lost sheep and you know following whatever uh you know shepherd is uh crumbs are throwing them or you know they're like come here sheep there's some safety here I can give you some food some water you know uh keep you alive you know uh praise god and that's 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 that that's within itself it's just uh, another mental trap because they basically want you to rely on on their system you know have enough hope in their system so you don't exit but you know just keep enough fear that you know you'd be scared to leave because that's why a lot of the even the niggas in the niggas in egypt when moses came and they were like yeah 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 my niggas let's get out of here moses was like 
I mean, the Pharaoh was like, uh, yo, where are you niggas leaving? Like, I got, I got, we got the Nile here, we got the water, we got the fruits, we got the vegetables, we got all that. We can feed y'all niggas. Y'all niggas ain't gonna grow shit. Y'all niggas don't know how to build communities, uh, kingdoms, uh, you know, systems, and you know, cisterns. Yeah, systems. The Nile. You guys heard about that? Nah, nah. See, y'all don't know about that. Because we're just simple slaves. Go back to being a slave. And you know, and the, and, the, and then you know what I'm saying? The, their part was like, yo, you know, Moses, he, he right, yo. Uh, you know, Pharaoh, he right, yo. Like, you know, where are we going to go, homeboy? Uh, you know, what? You, you got a plan? Does God have a plan? You know, like Drake says, God has a plan. You know what I'm saying? God's plan or whatever. And, uh, you know, I, he probably said, said some shit like, um, you know, we're going to see what's going to happen. Because nothing is guaranteed for no man. But you know what's guaranteed? You going for and being who you want to be. It's a um, different type of mindset, you know? Living in safety, security, comfort. A lot of people live every day with nothing happening, including myself. You know, why am I not, for example, making major financial gains? Why am I not making... Uh, financial strides in the in my area of wisdom uh, why uh, and, and, and things like that you know but you got to ask yourself what is that movie that you've been constantly playing on your mind what thoughts and feelings have you collected of the world that became a condensed orb based on you know you might have just because literally this is darkness basically where this body is darkness everything around you is basically darkness the trees is darkness the sun is dark I know it look good but it's still darkness though you know, we can't even see 99.99% .99 of the electromagnetic spectrum. We cannot even see the sound to wave spectrum by what's happening when somebody else speaks unless we get like an EKG machine and measure that person's voice, measure that person's ability to project energy. How much of a great, you know, transmutation mechanism is that person, you know? Because when you're a fucking G, you can transmute everything around you. You know, you walk in, bam! You transfigure reality and people around you, uh, you know, have a different experience too. You just took them on a train ride. That was like, whoa, um, I never, I, n I never felt safe up there. How come this person can do this in this X, Y, Z? You know, you become, you, be you become a symbol almost for people, you know, a symbol, a symbol of your struggle and your personal, uh, you know, personal strides and things like that. But if we never analyze and examine the things that we have on our mind as far as what's the machinery in there rotating what's the cogs doing if we don't inspect it if we don't if we don't set our mental inspectors to see what those thoughts and feelings are about you know you may have a little gang in your brain that took over or by you know all humans are aware of what they do to lead to their own demise but to them that's to me and to them to other people that shit's normal you know think about it failing is normal you know, being average is normal. Being religious is normal. Being atheist is normal. Uh, you know, what is even normal? Normal is just a program. Normal is just like a tradition. Normal is a culture. You know, there's nothing wrong with these things. But before you adopt these things, understand what these things are, you know, are about for yourself. Not because somebody else said, Okay, yeah, this is just how we've been doing things, son. This is how we've been doing things, honey. So we're just going to continue to do things that way. Okay, well, why don't we continue the narrative? Because as far as I'm concerned, all I see is motherfucking business people improving their fucking narrative. And how about the, the people? The people aren't doing shit. We don't improve nothing. So even the business would have to improve their operations every single year. You know? So why are we not oper uh, inspecting our own mental operations every single day? You know? I'm pretty sure if I'm at work and, you know... The gate is not working or some shit like that. Or, I don't know, if you're cutting trees in the forest or the chains or the chain is not working. If you're uh, mowing lawn and the, you know, the, the mower or whatever is not working, you know, it's, it's going to be a problem in that day. So, you can't just think about, okay, I can't do this. Okay, that must be normal. I can't. I'm not even going to try. And you wait for something to come and save you and you wait for something to come and help you. No, you just need to look at the mental machinery, the cognition, what you're creating with your mind, what you're upholding as a group of thoughts and feelings, a group of spirits that create a neurological network inside of you 
so you can start to see what is operating in there. There's something that you've always been doing. There's something that you know you've uh, something basically you've always been doing. You've been doing a, a very dark uh, side of it. And you've been doing a very light side of it. And so you know you're already doing these things. It's just you getting familiar with the ability to you know optimize your reality and be able to you know see yourself uh as you were and be able to and be able to see it clearly because a lot of people don't have enough clarity to see themselves uh we're too lost like i said earlier we're way too lost in the world and the things of the world you know way too lost so how are you going to take time to even look at yourself and analyze yourself and things like that because remember the world is really a spiritual journey the earth is a, phys a spiritual journey everything you do on earth is really just uh there's an equivalent vibration to it there's an equivalent a transition to it there's an equivalent uh travel through it you know just like the sun travels from summer to winter everything has a travel to it and you got to put in those inches those degrees and you got to collect those energies and things like that those energy gems so you can you know what i'm saying make that thanos uh glove and you know say so maybe maybe you don't want to snap 50 percent of people off the planet because that's what them niggas is doing maybe you want to help 50 percent of people on the planet give them a better mind so they can actually start to work in their natural design and they can start to push a better narrative that creates a more prosperous country and more prosperous GDP. Because how you calculate a country's prosperity is actually via the people, not really via the resources. Because the people are the ones who are going to gonna, you know, be the workforce, the labor to get these things moving. Gold is not going to move out of the ground by itself. Trees are not going to chop themselves. Data is not going to calculate itself. Well, maybe not with AI and things like that. But, you know, these things uh, require people. So these things are calculated via the strength of people. And these things are powered by people. Trust me, the Masons, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They don't really want to live in a world full of AIs or whatever. They, they I don't know, maybe some of them are that crazy. But I, I know not all people are bad, not all people are good. Not that it's good or bad or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But they just want to hold, They just want to have enough, hold, enough left brain chokehold on you. Lasers, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, you know. They're going to create a narrative to make sure that you stay in your place, you know. Because when, you, when you're dealing with Shadow Lords, when you're dealing with, you know, that type of shit, uh, they operate from a different wave. You know, like I said earlier, 99.90% of the electromagnetic spectrum cannot be seen. So there's a lot of things, a lot of energies, a lot of wave forms of conscious awareness that they're pushing out that you cannot understand or comprehend how they're even doing that but if you hang out with this channel hang out with me oh uh, yeah you're gonna find out you're gonna know this shit i'm gonna bust a hole right in the motherfucking ozone layer and that starship that spaceship is gonna fall down it's gonna be like the fall of olympus oh yeah anyways be chopping in with you guys take care of yourselves always keep your spiritual guards up inspect your mind be a mind inspector. Don't be uh, uh, distracted by your mind. Because your mind, remember, your mind is a child. You need to train your mind. You need to nurture it. You need to tell it what to, your brain is going to be like. Your Oh, your whole body is a brain. Your nervous system, all that shit. Your brain is going to be like, oh, no. Oh, no, brother. Praise Jesus. I don't want to go try that. Uh, you know, it's very uncomfortable. I don't want to read that book. Oh, what? Uh, you're a Muslim and you want to read the Bhagavad Gita? You want to read the Quran? I mean, you, you want to read the Bible? Brother, we only read the Quran, bro. Um, In fact, there's something wrong with you if you even think that. Praise Muhammad and praise Allah. <laughs> See, if I was in uh, Saudi Arabia or, or whatever, or Emirates right now, United or Emirates, that's the type of shit I'd be hearing. But I mean, me being a G, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, ba, 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 ba. But it might be deep because, you know, I'm finding a disposition. I mean, because like literally when you're on the land, you are walking on a disposition. Literally. There's a series of virtues and principles that rule that geographical location that dominate that area. Not that you can't, but you know, it's very interesting. That's why traveling the world. I've never traveled that much, but I've been to a couple of places before, 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 I, came, before I am where I am right now. And I can honestly tell you that there is a conscious awareness that is over every single geographical location and probably every single state in the in the United States. Man, I got to travel to like a few more places where I'm at. I really want to see. It's very interesting. Because the man, it's an energy game. And when you understand how to harness energy on a mass scale and make people pay attention to it via like your magic wand system, 
And then you, op you open a portal and you make other people conscious awarenesses, go into that reality, and then you start creating something in that while you orbit that reality, and you start to animate something, give, give life. As long as someone gives you direction. Like if I tell you how to do a job, you're going to learn how to do the job, and you're probably going to do it well because you want to get paid, you want to go home, take the money home, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to learn to do your job well, so I'm going to have to train you well. So, so we have people that are basically training your mind via via geographical location. It's like, man, it's deep because like these people, they even know the they, they even know which tribes, which groups of people are who came from where. You know, they keep track of this shit. They're not gonna say anything in public. They're not gonna be like, oh, yeah. So you know, this tribe, uh, blah 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 blah, is really this tribe from back in the day, and they hold the blood. Not that not that that fucking matters, anyways. But I'm um, just saying that these people keep track of that. You better believe that they got databases, military underground stuff, all that type of shit. But does it matter? It really does, doesn't fucking matter. Because, I mean, everybody, they're going to turn to dust just like everybody. They might, you know, they might, they might they might stay in, you know, some, you know, some, 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 some iron. But, you know, hey, they don't, they're going to die. You know, they're going to hit the dirt just like everybody else. And I don't know why you'd want to, you'd want to not hit the dirt in all glory. You know, you might, if you're going to hit the dirt, you might as well hit the dirt and go all out. You might as well do everything. You Man, people know they're going to die physically, but they don't want to die mentally. What the fuck is wrong with this world, bro? You should be ready to let go of your mentality and go into some whole new world just based on you believing in that and you believing in that reality via that mentality. Because when you start to observe it, your mind starts to look for the possibilities in the world. It starts to create the feelings and everything becomes automated. So you might as well automate your mind on some good shit. You know, some good Autobots, you know, have some good, some good, some good transforming cells. Real shit. But yeah, I'm not going to hold you too much. Take care of yourselves and always keep your spiritual guards. Real shit.